Hello there everybody, Peter of England here bringing you a, a short video today on a, quite an interesting topic. Uh, I apologise for the shadowing on the, uh, on the camera, but uh, I'm filming this while I'm on the road, so I thought it better to uh, uh, sacrifice the, uh, the visual quality rather than not get the message out. Uh, the message is quite an interesting one as well for all those uh, gilets jaunes in the United Kingdom and for all those people uh, watching this uh, video from uh, afar. Um, it's concerning the constitution of the United Kingdom, the monarchy and uh, major political players. What we see uh, in the newspaper yesterday uh, is a very interesting article. Uh, it was in the... Daily Telegraph today, don't know if you can see that uh, part of that headline, but for those who can't see it, it says, Plan to save the Queen in case of no deal riots uh, in the United Kingdom. There was an, also an article on Apple News that uh, appeared early in the morning, of uh, that's uh, from going Sunday into Monday just, which basically says there is a, uh, a plan to exit to a safe country or safe haven the British monarchy in case of a no-deal Brexit series or sequence of riots in London. Now, it's very, very interesting that that's being mooted because there are uh, rumours in the background that the royal family are abdicating or have been given an ultimatum by various other, should we say, white hat forces in the, uh, in the, in the global political world that they, uh, their time is up and it's time for them to go. So don't forget that during the First World War, during the Second World War, the British monarchy sat there on their thrones like ticks on a dog. Um, and it's a basic, uh, a basic tenet or proposition of monarchical rule that the moment that the monarch or any leader actually quits his palace or, or his, uh, shall we say, his lex terrae, his, uh, his, his home ground, that the deal or the game is up. So what this in effect would mean is if the royal family, or the Queen in particular, decides to quit the throne, to leave England, to escape for any reason, that is inherently an abdication of the throne and the crown. And uh, what my personal perspective on this is, for all those out there who have campaigned against the monarchy, who have campaigned for electoral reform and a, a political type of parliamentary reform, what's happening here, I think is a very, very gentle um, gift being put on a plate and offered to your very hands. Because uh, I think what's being said here, reading between the lines, is if now is a, is a time to, to move, then uh, there has never been a better time to move. So with this type of politicisation and, uh, should we say, a wrap of the, the Brexit confrontation or Brexit problem uh, being... Uh, uh, pointed at the hands of what's called the Brexiteers, we could end up in a situation where uh, what I actually think is maybe the monarchy are creating their own back door, their own escape uh, run or rat run to get them out of the country and to get them installed in some other country, possibly Canada, we hear possibly uh, Australia, because um, as this, this global Zionist cabal this uh, international stock market capitalist banking cartel begins to crack, then there is obviously safe havens required for the rats that will desert the ship. So um, let's see how this plays out. I thought I would mention it and put it into the video because particularly the, uh, the people who are watching these videos in the United States and further afield uh, possibly don't obviously see some of these, uh, these things that appear in the local press and in the local media. So uh, that's a message uh, to you. There is another video coming up after this where I'm going to deal with some other quite uh, what I think are very, very important topics, uh, particularly important to those people in the United States. And what I think is um, a increasing upsurge of potential massive economic reform uh, worldwide. I don't like to use the word globally, I prefer to say worldwide, because this could tie in with the, uh, the talk of uh, an economic jubilee or a reset. And I know people have been hearing this for many, many years, and it's been talked left and right and up and down, and it's had, uh, had all the goodness chewed out of it. 
but there is a possibility, however remote, uh, that one day it could happen, and without hope we have nothing. So, um, please watch that, that's a follow-on video, make sure you press the button, and subscribe, and like this channel, uh, because I hear that sometimes people are unsubscribed, and uh, therefore these notifications drop out of their, their feed. So, uh, thank you very much for listening, um, keep, uh, keep your ear to the, the ground on these points, and uh, I'll be posting more videos soon. Thank you very much.